So you're thinking about moving to the Meridian, Idaho area, but you're trying to figure out exactly where are you gonna be spending a lot of your time? Where are you gonna shop? Where are you gonna to go to eat? Where are you gonna go see the movies? All of that. Well, today I'm gonna to give you a little bit of a walking vlog tour of those areas. We're gonna check out the village. We're gonna check out a couple of the smaller kind of shopping developments around Meridian, Idaho. So go ahead and stay tuned because we're gonna get into it right now. To get started, we're gonna take a little bit of a walk through the village at Meridian. This is something I talk about a lot on the channel, but my wife and I spend a lot of time here. This is where we really like to go out and eat. We go to the village cinema, the actual movie theater here in Meridian. It's also a great place though for shopping. This is a place where my office is actually on the second floor of one of the buildings here. I meet people for coffee. It's really just kind of a main place to go in the Meridian and Boise area now. It's located right here on Eagle Road, so it's actually at the border of Meridian and Boise, kind of where they meet. It is a massive development and it's only gonna to continue to grow. Right now they're kind of expanding all of the paths around the village. So in and out is actually gonna appear later this month. And then they also have kind of like a sky bridge going that's just gonna to continue to extend it out. So it really is a place that if you're even thinking about making a home here, you're gonna to want to know kind of where it's at and what it might be offering you. I'm standing here kind of in the center of the entire village. So behind me, typically there's some fountains that are going, they'll go about every hour, they'll go along with the music, everything like that. It kind of will go all the way from back here, all the way extended into this center portion. They're under construction right now. They're kind of doing some repair because during the holiday season in particular is really when they try to bring all of the spirits. So they have a massive kind of fountain show and whatnot, but I'm here in the center. So you're gonna see all around me. You're gonna see Royal Coffee Co behind me, kind of the main coffee place that I meet a lot of my clients. You're gonna have Grimaldi's over my shoulder. You're gonna have Kona. And then as we kind of flip around here, you're gonna see some of the other things that they have to offer, including the big movie theater, which is tucked in right under this little shade thing. So this is kind of the central plaza of the village. So one of my wife's favorite places is right here behind me, if you can see it, it's Bodo Vino. So Bodo Vino, they actually have two locations. They have this one here in the village, but they also have one in downtown Boise. It's a really cool place if you're into wine. They have a huge assortment, probably over a hundred, but they're in like these cases, so you don't have to buy a full glass. It's a great place to go. You can try various different wines. You can find your favorite. The machines that they have, you basically get a prepaid card and then you can get a half glass, full glass, quarter glass, glass and a half, whatever the heck you want. But they have some really good flatbreads, appetizers, food, everything like that. So one of those things, my wife absolutely loves it. So we're there quite a bit. So back behind me now, hopefully you can kind of see everything that's up there. This is gonna be Kona Grill. So this is a really good place to go out for dinner. My wife absolutely loves the macadamia nut chicken. I'm a huge fan of their sushi, but they have a really good steak. It's a cool place to check out and they've got a really cool patio kind of tucked back behind, you can't really see it behind these trees, but I'll get a little bit of a shot for it. So once you get out of the main kind of plaza here at the village, you're gonna be surrounded by almost like a big loop of buildings that have all sorts of kind of open to the air shops. So you're gonna have Lululemon, you're gonna have Vans, you're gonna have H&M, you're gonna have all the big ones, but then you're also gonna have some really cool new options with Pendleton being here, Columbia, and then we actually just opened a Lego store, which has been an absolute hit for most people. So behind me, you're gonna see kind of the shops on the main level, but then as you kind of look up into the second and third floors, you're actually gonna see more windows and blinds and everything. There are a ton of office spaces here. So like I mentioned, my company and their office is here in the village, but you're gonna have a lot of financial services companies, lawyers, everything like that. So it's another place if you're looking for that commercial office space, you could look. Here. Okay, so one more thing that I wanted to point out is kind of behind me, you can see there's this open kind of fall market going on. The village will do events like this throughout the year. A lot of them during the holiday season, but right now it's Green Apple Boutique, a lot of local decor, activities, everything like that, arts and crafts fair in a way. So definitely again, it's something, there's always something going on and they like to take advantage of this weather, especially this time of year. And then one of the things that I would just be kind of derelict in my duties if I didn't mention, right behind me here, 
is gonna be chip cookies. So we have got a few different cookie delivery places here in the Boise and Meridian area. So we've got chip, which they like to say they were the first one here. We've got crumble, which I'm sure you've seen all over TikTok, Instagram, everything like that. They're kind of national now. And then we also have cookie co. So you got a few different options, but this is where the chip one is gonna be located in Meridian. They also have one downtown. One of the other things located and actually connected to the village here is gonna be Big Al's behind me. You can kind of see their patio and sports bar back here but as you start to actually get out of the village you'll see kind of behind me you can actually enter this is where they do their bowling they've got laser tag they've got the arcade everything like that so it's a really cool thing kind of attached in the village for if you want to bring your kids really anybody of all ages whatever you want to do this is a good place to check out So before we leave the village, I want to give you a few other spots that you should check out while you're in the village itself. After this, I'm going to take you over to just a couple of shopping centers that aren't technically in the village, but they're really close and kind of give you a little bit of a sense of where you're going to go for some of those big things. Behind me though, you can see kind of that market going on. Yard House is kind of like a bar and grill here. It's just, a, it's a national chain, so I'm sure you've heard of it somewhere. It's a really good place to go if you want that patio feel, if you're trying to catch a game, anything like that. Yard House is a must. Another one is Matador. This one is kind of like an upscale Mexican restaurant. I absolutely love it. They have these like shrimp enchiladas with this like green chili cream sauce that are, oh, absolutely to die for. Their carnitas is great, their guacamole, everything. Matador somewhere you should check out. And then if coffee isn't your jam, there's actually a place that's downstairs from my office called Clean Juice. It's gonna be that juice smoothie kind of shop. Really good place with it and Royal Coffee Co. If you're here and we need to meet for something, meet with clients who are in town, whatever it is, these are just great places to go so we don't have to sit in some stuffy office. And as I'm on the topic of meeting with those clients, this is just a reminder, I am a licensed agent here in the area, so I would love more than anything to help you make your move here to Boise, Meridian, Eagle, whatever it is, as smooth as possible. Whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, I would love to have a chat. So go ahead, all of my info is in the description below. Feel free, reach out. Any question that I can help with, I would absolutely love to. But let's go ahead and wrap up with the village. I'm gonna take you just a minute or so that way. I'm gonna show you on the map here where we're going. I'm gonna show you where Chick-fil-A is, Chipotle, Cafe Zupa's. There's a Sierra Trading Post, the Boise Co-op show you a few of these kind of like surrounding shopping centers. After that, I'm gonna take you across Fairview, show you Albertsons, all of that. So, see you all in a second. Okay, one more thing before we actually leave the village. I wanna show you this behind me because I know everybody's freaking out. This is their first one here in Idaho. in and out is almost here. So this one in the village is supposed to be completed here at the end of October of 2023. So, for all of you people from California, anywhere, You've got your place. So for anybody that craves that in and out and you're worried about missing it when you move up here, not gonna be as big of an issue. But again, to give you a little bit of a perspective, the village is right behind me. Where we're gonna head over next across Fairview is to Albertsons, Old Navy and everything. And then Chick-fil-A and such. This is Eagle and Fairview, kind of like right on the other side of in and out We're gonna head down Eagle just to the other side of the village. So that's where we're gonna be heading next. So across Fairview from the village, if you can see kind of where we're at, we were just over there at the village. You're gonna be over here at a little bit of a shopping center. So you're gonna see behind me, you're gonna have an Albertsons. It's kind of on the other side of the tree, but you're gonna have your Old Navy. Bed Bath & Beyond was here. They're gone out of business, but you're gonna have Petco, Bath & Body Works. Um, you're gonna have World Market down that way a little bit. So this is a really cool place to go if you're looking for anything in particular. Sportsman's Warehouse is behind me over there. Ashley Home Furniture. Office Depot, the Walmart's over here, but then kind of lining a fair view on the side, you're gonna see Texas Roadhouse, Popeyes, Johnny Carino's. This is another place for, again, if you're looking for more of those chain restaurants, this is gonna be kind of the hub of that in most of Meridian and Boise, um, this entire Eagle Road area here. So next I'm gonna take you over to the other side of the village where we're gonna have a few more options like this.
Okay, and to wrap today up, before I go and grab some lunch, hit up some grocery stores here at the co-op down here, I just wanted to show you this last little bit, kind of as an extension of the village as it starts to go down Eagle Road. So hopefully you can see a little bit behind me, you're gonna have Nike, you're gonna have a good old Spirit Halloween, you're gonna have Burlington Co. Factory down there. Um, there's gonna be quite a few options here as you're kind of looking. But again, really the main crux of this area is if you're looking for something shopping wise, restaurants, anything like that, this is gonna be a good option for you, especially if you're looking for any of those chain sort of places, those big box stores. Village Eagle Road as a whole is gonna be your main kind of focus. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight into kind of what you would actually be doing here in the Meridian, Idaho area. Again, I am an agent out here, so I'd love to help you make that move to Meridian as smooth as possible. Nine days or nine months, it does not matter. If there's a way that I can help and there's a question that I can help answer, I would absolutely love to. But that's gonna be it for today because I'm gonna go grab some lunch and grab some groceries and I will see you all on the next one.